So I just got my hands on the new GoPro Hero 9 and I want to do some pros and cons and see if this is something that I will be putting on my drone to fly around with to capture footage or if it's going to be something that I'm going to use like most GoPros to get nice little at different angles and shots that I normally can't use a full size camera for. So I'm going to unbox this, see what's in there and see how they stack up to the previous models that they had before. Okay, so here's the box. It's a little bit different from previous years in that big little plastic case that it came in. It basically shows you everything that it comes in and also all of its new features, which, I mean, there's so many videos out there on going over everything that it does. I'm sure you could check those out, but we just want to see how this is going to do for a drone. So it's kind of cool. It got, does come in this box, um, which makes it kind of have a cool case. And when we get in here, they got a couple pamphlets on some things. Subscribe to GoPro. Basically showing you how to do the battery door deal, which I did not like this battery door in the previous models. It will always fly off. And yeah, just some uh, basic information. And this is the GoPro actually itself. Let's see if we can get this out of here. Um, first glance, it is a lot bigger and it doesn't even have the battery in it yet. Here's the, the battery, and it is heavier, by far a lot heavier. I could already feel it, and that is mostly everybody's response I've seen online. And the battery is also a lot bigger and heavier as well. So let's put these on the side here and see what else we get. Um, standard USB-C charging cable. We have the little three-prong adapter for it and the little stickies and this little guy the little screw that basically puts it all tines up on here so you guys know how those work let's uh get the battery in this thing get it all charged up a little bit and uh see the features that it has on here all right so we have the gopro powered up and the main thing i want to go through is the menu settings here now we'll just bop in and see what's going on. It's pretty much everything's the same layout as the Hero 8. The only difference is going to be probably when you go into resolution here. We do have the 5K option, 30 frames per second. And this is pretty important for me. That's why I always do upgrade these because of shoots that I go on. They usually want the latest and greatest. And 5K 30 is probably going to come up at some point. I'm usually at 2.7K. Uh, we could go up to 120. That'll probably put us in a wide lens. I don't think we could go super view with it. Let's see. Uh, no, that puts us to 2.7K 60. So that's okay. Um, you know, shooting 2.7 in wide and 120 is uh, perfectly fine because we could punch into those shots anyways. And 4K, what options we have? 60 go in a super view and 4k 30 is the super view option on that so it's kind of like where we're at with everything they do have the 4x3 options up above it does look like if you pick any of in this row those are just your standard shooting aspect ratios uh, and then the 4x3s are on top so that's a little bit kind of looks a little confusing um, but yeah you go 240 that's probably 180 blocks everything else out what's highlighted is what you can pick so let's just mainly go into form factor now okay so now let's talk about the size of this GoPro and basically what I think about it for using it on one of my drones so I've been flying since the original hero I've been putting these things on drones and this was a pretty big little fatty right here if you look at it in size comparison, it's a, uh, it's a little, it's it's de definitely different. This had a screen that popped off at the time, a lot of cool little features, 
but as big as this one was this thing is still more massive more heavier and I mean a bigger battery everything I do get that the hero 8 it's a little bit smaller um, this one is pretty heavy if you were flying five inch quads and things like that and a lot of people were kind of griping about this one and the favorite still was always the session um, this was one of the favorites of mine as well it did sit up on a hill for two years that's why it's got that bleached out looking lens but uh yeah this was one of the best form factors for flying fpv and before that um this was always my favorite right here the hero 4 it was light nice and small um, it got all the way up to like 4k and the only downfall is if you just barely touched anything on a crash a lot of times this thing would just explode so this one being pretty much indestructible was the way to go one other feature that i do like that they did bring back which i didn't like about the 8 was on shoots i had to usually have some sort of cover to use an nd filter on this or i would use the ethics nd filters but i'd always have to peel them off when it would be like getting towards nighttime or something where i had to shoot in the evening for like a sun down type of scenario to where they have changed it back to I can twist this one off and I could just have a bag full of different ND filters on replacement lenses. The nice thing though is that our ethics ND filter does fit onto this lens right here. So I am super stoked about that. I can use my existing ND filters and our clear one that you could use too will cover this front screen because I am worried about the front screen getting broken in some sort of impact. So this is definitely a plus right out of the gate for me on this guy right here. All right, so coming to conclusion on my first impressions unboxing this GoPro and if I'm going to be using it, I'm gonna say yes, I do fly a six inch quad which allows me to have a little bit bigger payload on it it's kind of like using a civic to tow a boat you just want to do it you want something like a truck that has a little bit more power you could have more payload and i don't think this is going to be affected too much by using a six inch quad i do run the insta 361 r quite a bit on my quad and it is pretty heavy especially with like the dual 360 lens or the one inch sensor it gets up there and I don't really feel the weight that much of the flying's basically the same there's not much of a difference so I don't think that there's going to be much difference with this GoPro here I do like the 5k option just because I know I'm going to be asked that um, yeah it's good to have like the latest and greatest if you're going to be doing any type of production shoots things like that they're always going to ask for for those type of things having the lens be able to come off is a big advantage for me because I could put those multiple ND filters on those and always have those on me when I need them. The you know screen in the front and the back it's novelty to me. If I use this for you know different shots and kind of lining things up or or if I'm vlogging or something like that with this it might come useful but other than that I do think this is actually a really good camera aesthetically for um, just capturing any footage that I might have to do with my drone. Going into what the footage is going to look like over time and everything and, and all that, I don't know. I need more time with this to you know film with it and everything. I want to see how the HyperSmooth 3.0 is. I do know that Real Steady and GoPro, they merged or became partners, I believe, like last year at some point. I want to see how much of that is implemented into here. I do use Real Steady a lot um, with the GoPro Labs version on my Hero 8, and it does work really well to get nice, really smooth footage. Um, when I'm trailing behind the motorcycles, usually uh, with the GoPro, even the HyperSmooth 2.0, the wind is coming off the back of them, and it does get a little bit of shakes in the footage. I want to see how the HyperSmooth 3.0 handles that because I do know that real steady pretty much takes care of any little bobbles or shakes or anything that I do have with that so stay tuned for future videos of me going more into just how the footage and everything looks and yeah it is good to have a basically a video back I'm excited to do some more videos and everything with you guys it's more of a variety channel now uh, if you 
notice the intro. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of live streaming, maybe a little, a little gaming live streaming, working on drones and doing stuff in my shop and everything. And I'm gonna try and put out videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, and Tuesday and Thursday, I will be streaming on my Twitch channel, which I'll have in the description below. And if you guys wanna watch the highlights and stuff from the live streams, those will probably be in one of the, like the Monday, Wednesday, or Friday videos. If you guys want to join me on a live stream where we could chat, kind of hang out, that's mainly why I want to do those. Um, yeah, go over to my Twitch channel and we could talk and do all the things over there. So, yeah, hopefully you guys are having a great time and everything, and I will see you guys next time. Peace. <music>